I'm John Boyette with the City of Raleigh's Communications Department, and welcome back to another edition of Under Construction. On today's show, we'll visit the City of Raleigh's newest park site. We'll open our show along Falls Lake, home of the city's new Forest Ridge Park. Here's to the things that can keep us safe. Those we use all the time with hardly a thought. Those that are silently standing by to save our lives. And now, those that we carry with us everywhere we go. Many mobile devices will now bring you wireless emergency alerts, real-time information directly from local sources you know and trust. With the unique sound and vibration, you'll be in the know wherever you are. We're on a nearly 600-acre peninsula on Falls Lake where construction is winding down on Forest Ridge Park. The park is a collaborative effort involving the City of Raleigh, the State of North Carolina, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The Falls Lake Peninsula containing Forest Ridge Park is specifically located between Falls Lake Dam and Highway 98 in the northern reaches of Raleigh. We're here at the city's new Forest Ridge Park, and I'm here to meet Joel. How you doing, Joel? Good. How you doing, John? Tell me something. First thing I want to know, why did the city of Raleigh build a park way out here? We're about 17 miles outside of downtown Raleigh. City of Raleigh and Wake County is continuing to grow, both in population and in infrastructure. And so the Parks and Recreation and Cultural Resources Department realizes that it's also got to expand the offerings that it has for all of its citizens. Now, the park is being developed in phases Tell us what's in phase one. So in phase one, uh, we have a welcome center. That's gonna have a, a hub for information where people can come check in with staff and kind of see everything that we're offering. We'll also run programs out of that center and it also does have some rentable space for the public. We're an outdoor recreation themed park. Uh, so uh, our main aim is to just promote the outdoors and all kinds of activities that you would do outside. We have some large open space that people can come and enjoy, uh, and also some picnic shelters. Uh, but we'll also have plenty of trails out here. We have single track mountain bike trails, hiking trails, paved trails, and uh, multi-use trails for people just to come out with the family uh, or adventure seekers to come and, and explore this area. Well, you see at Forest Ridge Park, John, we have something for everyone. Even in with our playground, we have the uh, playground set up over here for the younger children. We have an area over here for a little bit older group of kids. We even have some uh, bongo drums, uh, John. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? There you go. So you can see a little bit of fun for the whole family. We hope to get people from all over Central North Carolina, really close to 540 and US 198 Highway. And and with the amenities that we're going to offer here, uh, we hope that, um, that we supply something for, for the local community to come and play, uh, but also uh, to host as a destination park uh, for, for this entire area. We talked about phase one development. Let's talk about subsequent phases. What, what type of development, what are we going to have out here, Forest Ridge Park, uh, with those phases after phase one? Well, right now, John, we're still um, completing phase one. Uh, we have a rock climbing tower that's uh, in the design phase, and we hope to have that uh, out in the park uh, in 2018. Any subsequent phases is going to be um, depending on availability of funding uh, and public input. And of course, city council is going to decide that as well as we go forward. There has been talk though about a whitewater park out here. People may have heard about a whitewater park or at least talks about that. Uh, although that it's similar in geographic location to Forest Ridge Park, uh, those are two completely separate uh, projects. The voters indicated that, you know, Forest Ridge Park is something that they wanted. I mean, voters approved a $6.2 million bond issue to, to fund development of the park. Um, so this is something that we're not just doing on our own. Uh, our residents have indicated they want this. That's right, we've had a lot of public input uh, into offering an outdoor recreation park, uh, and we're excited to be able to, to finally uh, bring that park forward. Now you spent more time probably out here than anybody else. What, what is it that you like about Forest Ridge Park? The thing that excites me the most about this park is just the, the large variety of activities that we'll be able to offer the public to get outside and really enjoy nature. We have everything from paved trails, playground, 
uh, to single track mountain bike trails. So the emphasis with Forge Ridge Park, enjoy the great outdoors. Exactly. When do we expect this great park to open up? Although I can't give you an exact date, we do plan to open this fall. And of course we will um, be letting people know through social media uh, and the website uh, once we have finalized the date for that. Joe, appreciate coming out here. Thank you Thank and you I'll be much. coming back. All right. To learn more about the new Forest Ridge Park, Contact the City of Raleigh's Parks and Recreation and Cultural Resources Department at 919-996-3285 or visit the city's website at www.raleighnc.gov. When we return, we'll update you on some of the city's other capital improvement projects. <clears throat> hey, Hard, what's this? That's my resignation. You're resigning. Why? You've been putting me under a lot of pressure lately. That's why I'm ready to quit. Oh, I forgot. I'll do better. Please don't quit on me. Don't let your heart quit on you. Get your uncontrolled high blood pressure to a healthy range before it's too late. Welcome back to Under Construction. On today's show, we told you about the new Forest Ridge Park. Here's what's going on with some of the city's other capital improvement projects. Construction is complete on improvements to Sandy Forks Road between Six Forks Road and Falls and Noose Road. The project included widening and repaving Sandy Forks Road and adding curb and gutter. There are also sustainable or environmentally friendly features such as bicycle lanes and sidewalks, energy efficient LED street lights, and stormwater treatment devices. New landscaping is also included. Sandy Forks Road is the city's first project to be submitted for a Green Road Certification. Green Road Certification focuses on using sustainable best practices to build a transportation network that is environmentally sensitive and sustainable to the community. The $7.1 million in improvements to Sandy Forks Road were funded by a transportation bond issue approved by Raleigh voters in 2013. Construction is continuing on the Buck Jones Road widening project. The city is widening Buck Jones Road to three lanes from near Farmgate Road to Zebic Way. The improvements also include two roundabouts at Farmgate Road and at Bashford Road, and new bicycle lanes, curb and gutter, street lights, and sidewalks. The Buck Jones Road widening project is scheduled for completion in the summer of 2018. Funding for the $8.2 million project was approved by Raleigh voters in a 2005 transportation bond issue. Also continuing is the renovation of Fire Station 2 and the 200 block of Pecan Road. The work is part of the city's ongoing effort to upgrade at least 10 aging fire stations. The renovation project will convert the fire station to a drive-through configuration, meaning fire vehicles will no longer have to back into the facility. This will improve safety for the fire personnel assigned to the station and for motorists on Pecan Road. Also with the renovation, Fire Station 2 is getting new heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, new windows and doors, and a new kitchen and bathrooms. Firefighters assigned to Station 2 are operating out of a temporary location on nearby South Wilmington Street until the $1.3 million renovation is complete in November. A modular home has been set up as temporary living quarters for firefighters. That completes this edition of Under Construction and Capital Improvements. To learn more about the City of Raleigh's Capital Improvement Project, contact the City's Communications Department at 919-996-3100 or visit the City's website at www.raleighnc.gov. The next edition of Under Construction airs in November. I look forward to seeing you then. I'm your host, John Boyette, and thanks for watching.